Hey guys, it's recording. I thought I had an extra second there. Uh, Queen Baby Brit here on my channel, Baby Brit Keen. I use my lamp for better lighting, and I got my little tripod here, so it should be okay because it's nighttime here. Yeah, it's just the curtain, so that like weird, I don't know, like gl glimmer. I don't know how to explain it, but sometimes my lamp it makes the camera look funny. So uh, anyway, guys. Oh yeah, I'm wearing a hat indoors because for this video my hair is kind of messy, so I figured why not have a Superman hat on. Yeah. And some random joggers with some emoji slipper socks from Christmas. Look, they're sequins, so it goes from happy, tongue out, to angry. <laughs> yeah, felt so like tomboyish today, but I got my cute little emoji slippers on. Gives that little feminine vibe still. <laughs> so yeah, I can get away with it, with it. right? Right. And my little flower curtains too. Also, I have a hatch over here. Yeah, apparently this is the rare one. Didn't know that. My niece said it. I'm not sure, but she said that, so... Okay, <laughs> got it at five below for like four ninety nine or something. I don't know, or three dollars, three ninety nine, I think. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my 3DS collection just for fun because I want to update it. And I've always liked the 3DS. Not like a, like I love video games. It's like more of a hobby thing than anything. When I get bored or something to do with my friends because they happen to like video games, like my guy friends. Some of my girl, my friend that's a girl, she loves Minecraft. So I'm not even good at Minecraft. So she, she's built this big Starbucks thing that was cool. Shout out Des, the one who got me a birthday present. Um. Hello neighbor and I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. Um So I'm going to start with my collection. I just collect them for fun and I happen to just get a big collection because well, what am I when I every time I get money for some reason I always buy a video game like I'll get clothes or whatever I need to get, but I always get one video game pretty much every month or every other month. So, it just adds up after a while. So yeah, especially 3DS games cuz when I'm on the go and I'm bored, something to do, right? I have to play games on my phone, but it's not the same because my phone's kind of tiny. It's the iPhone SE. So, yeah. But I do have tiny fingers. Eh. Alright, so I'm going to start off with my two games that are in these cases because they're more rare ones or ones that are a little harder to find for the 3DS. And I don't want to ever sell them really just because they are kind of rare and I wouldn't be able to find them again. Or if I did, they might be more expensive or not in as great condition as the ones I have because this these ones are in pretty good condition when I got them. And I think I got one, yeah, one was brand new, one was used. So, I have The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, because they made it for 3DS. And it's good for the 3DS, it has the C-Stick, which is the new 2DS XL, or the new 3DS XL. Or, new 3DS, because they have a mini version too. As long as it says new in the beginning, you're, you could, you're good with the C-Stick. So, yeah, this was originally a game for the N64, and it's cool how they remade it for the 3DS. So you could do a handheld mode. And, yeah, and they fixed a few of the, the things that were wrong with the other one. Made it better in handheld mode, too. So, that's pretty cool. And, yeah, actually, I never had an N64 when I was younger. Um, I'm a 90s kid. I was, like, towards the 2000s. Because, yeah, still. But, still, I was a 90s kid, so I still grew up with that kind of stuff. But, I didn't have an N64. My family had a PS1 and a NES. So, yeah. And, my sister's little or two, one's two years older, the one's, other one's four years older. Um, so, yeah, they would kind of pick more of the stuff, and I would, I would just kind of play what they had. I wasn't really able to pick, like, oh, because I was too young at that time, I guess. Uh, I still have a little brother, but he didn't come in the picture for a while. So, yeah, and then he, he now, like, he's more, he's an Xbox fan. He plays all Xbox stuff. Um, yeah. He used to play, love the Wii, but then when he got older, he's like, oh, the Wii? <laughs> now he just has an Xbox. Just like, I have an Xbox also, but I also tend to like Nintendo handheld consoles. I don't like the, I don't like their actual console consoles. Like, I do, but I prefer their handhelds, to be honest. Always have. So yeah, there's that one. I'm going to try not to make this video too long. So the next one that I have is kind of rarish because it's harder to find. And especially if I did, it would be more kind of expensive as it would be new, so it's crazy. And it might not be as in good condition if I get it used. So I have Fantasy Life. Um, this is a pretty popular one for 3DS. And over here in the background, that's my 3DS. Making up some music. Do, do, do. It's my 2DS, I mean. New 2DS XL. Uh, so Fantasy Life is more of like a, a fighting game where you could choose your classes, stuff like that. It's 10 and up, by the way, so it's a little bit older for kids on here. So it's not made for like littler kids, but uh, it's actually a pretty good game. I didn't play a ton, a ton of it, but you can like, um, you like choose a class and you can uh, fight and you like kind of make it your own kind of world, little world. You can dress up your character, 
sort of like a simulation game in a way, but it's not exactly the same as Animal Crossing. It's just a little similar. It's more fighting, though. Animal Crossing, you don't fight, so. So, yeah, it's another game that's kind of rare to find, so I just have these two, and that's all I needed to put these two in there. Because it's two rare games I have, and I only had two of these it came with, so. The next games I have are Steel Diver. When I first ever got a 3DS, when they had the original, when mine was a little tiny red one, the original 3DS. Um, yeah, it just came, it came with a Steel Diver for free. It was just a game to show off the 3D features, which is cool. But I don't really play this anymore. But I can't sell it because uh, GameStop or wherever will only sell it for a dollar or less. So I figured might as well keep it. Or if somebody wants it, give it to someone. But nobody wanted it. <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of kept it then. Uh, yeah, why not? The next game I got is um, Rayman 3D. It's good. Uh, I haven't played a ton of it. I used to play the Rayman games on PS1 when I was younger. Uh, so I never, like, I got this one because I have a CX. It it's I never see this game ever. Especially brand new, I never see. I only see it used, and I've seen it one time. So I happened to pick it up. It was like 10 bucks, not too bad. Used, and so I'm going to get to playing that eventually. Rayman 3D. Because I always liked the PS1 Raymans when I was little, so might as well have one for my collection. i got to play it eventually, though. I turned it on to make sure it worked and everything, but I never actually got to play play the game. So the next game I got is... Uh, Hometown Story. This is a spin-off of, like, Harvest Moon. And I haven't played a ton, but it is really pretty good. So far, of what i played, you can, like, you have, like, a store, and you gotta manage it and stuff, and then you go out and, like, battle-type stuff, and then you gotta meet, like, a dragon. That's all I really know about it, but it's pretty good. And this one's 10 and up. So if you like Harvest Moon games, it's a spin-off, so you might like this. Focus. There you go. Next game is Story of Seasons. Um, sort of like a spin-off, I think. I can't remember. This is also turning up. And never played it yet. Just got it not that long ago. So, um, never mind. I was going to show you the case, but it's my closet. Dang it. I only got two cases out over here. Dang it. Um, but yeah, it's sort of like Harvest Moon. A little different, and you can get married in it and stuff. Cool. The next game we got are, is Tamagotchi Life. Or, Sorry. Tamadachi life. It's not Tamagotchi. It's not by those creators. Tamadachi. Um, and Tama, Tamadachi basically means like friend or something. Uh, and this one basically you have the Miis from uh, Nintendo, how they have like on the Wii and stuff. So you have the Miis and also the handheld version 3DS. So you get the Miis and you can um, take care of them basically. And it's pretty cool. And some things you don't have control over, like your Miis can also get married and they can have children and you feed them, all that kind of stuff. And it's really pretty fun. And it gets really addicting. I finished the whole thing. Literally, I did a, pretty much every secret you can get in it that I know of, at least. Uh, nothing more left for me to do. Uh, I think I have, like, 50 um, Mies living in my in my the apartment building thing. Uh, they also, also, when your Mies get married, they actually live into a ha live in house. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, that's fun. The uh, next game I got is uh, one they made um, after, which this one came out um, right... Um, Sorry, 2017, because it just turned 2018. So this came out in 2017, Miitopia, and it's sort of like Tamagotchi Life. They basically made it into a similar type thing. So Miitopia, you use the Miis and stuff, but instead this one's more of an RPG and you fight. Stuff like that, but you can feed them and stuff. So it's a little similar to this, but yet different. So, yeah, Miitopia. I don't want to say too much about each one just because time-wise, but I did a review of Miitopia on this channel. Was it Miitopia? Oh, no, sorry, guys. I think there it might have been Miitopia. You can check back, but I know I did a Tamagotchi, Tamagotchi Life uh, review for sure. Check for Miitopia. I think I did. I'll comment below if I did, or you can just check, but I'll probably comment below. So, the next game I got is um, a lot of games that I love. Uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Games addicting for boys and girls, not just for boys, or not just for girls, because a lot of people think it's for girls, it's not. Like, it's boyish too, but maybe some it's, some people think it's more towards girls, but I don't know, I don't really think so, I think it could be for anybody. Just because it's more chibi and cute, that's probably why people think that. But it's really fun, you dress up your character, um, and you make your own town, your own little world, basically. And you can be however you want, pretty much, and you gotta, and you do, and it teaches you, like, real life skills, like, you have to earn money to get stuff, and... And to pay for your mortgage, and you know, and, and, and sell things to, to get money, and 
it's pretty cool. Um, really pretty cool. And you can go on an island, and plus you can meet your friend if they have a 3DS, and you, and they have this game, and yeah, and you guys can link up and give each other stuff basically, and you can give each other bells. Someone gave me a, a lot of bells one time. Uh, I've done this with about two two friends. Um, I do it frequent, kind of frequently with my one friend. Then my other friend I used to, and they stopped playing it. But yeah, this is a really good good game though. Animal Crossing New Leaf simulation type game. Yeah, and everyone in it is an animal except for you. You're the human. <laughs> uh, also, I got their second one of it. Uh, Happy Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. And sorry if this video cuts off. I'll make a part two probably if it cuts off. We're almost done anyway, sort of. Uh, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. So this one basically it's not the same as the other one. It's not like a second one basically. It's just like a spin-off type-ish thing of it or whatever you call it. And you just design homes. That's all it is. And it's just kind of fun. And you can use amiibo cards if you have uh, an amiibo reader unless you have the new 2DS XL or new 3DS or new, th new 3DS XL. You can just put the cards on the screen and it'll work. So yeah, so it's just basically your design homes. So if you like the, the, the designing part in Animal Crossing New Leaf, then you should get this game. Yeah. Uh, I got this one. Oh, wow. Where'd it go? Oh, uh, guys. I, oh, never mind. Found it. <laughs> I thought it was gone forever. Uh, okay. The next game we got are my, da um, wait. Yeah, my download games on my... Okay, I got... On the, this 2DS, this is my regular 2DS, which has some stickers. The other one, I don't dare do that because it's more expensive. But I put some stickers on it, and I got some downloaded games for 3DS. and For, like, 3DS games downloaded on here, which is Yokai Watch, which is, like, a spinoff of Pokemon. It's not a spinoff, but it's, like, another competitor made it. And it's almost as, like, good as Pokemon, but it's, like, it's the same, but it's, yet yeah, it's different, too. And they have their own Yokai names and everything, and... If they have this watch, it's different, it's not like the Pokeballs. Yeah, it's pretty good. They also have um Yokai Watch 2 and also like other ones too, but I have just the first one. Which is fun. Um, I also have Monster Hunter Generations, which is a really good game. I wanna get Monster Hunter Stories, if you heard that one, it's pretty new. It came out in um 2017. And also I have a Game Boy Color game that's downloaded on here. It's Pokemon Yellow. Yeah. I think that's it. Yep, that's it on here. Um, on my new 2DS XL, I have some games downloaded on here too. I got Mario Kart 7, which actually came with my 2DS over there. But I used that account on here when I got this one and transferred the other account on that one so I can have Mario Kart in this one. Yeah, it sounds confusing, but I did it that way because I want the certain games on this one. Um... And yeah, transferring was a little annoying, but it, I figured it out, and I just called Nintendo, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, make sure you don't lose that password of yours. <laughs> uh, I got um, a Game Boy Color Games download on here, which is The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. It was released in 2001, because it tells me up there. I would probably not remember that if not. <laughs> uh, and I also got The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. That was a present for someone. So that's why I got it on the eShop. I like to get physical copies if I can. Um, I got Ever Oasis, which is also a gift at one time, so that's why it's on the eShop, because they use their bank card. <laughs> I also got Pokemon Silver version, released in 2000 for Game Boy Color. It was only $9.99 when they come out with those Pokemon Game Boy Color ones, at $9.99. Pokemon Crystal's coming out this month, um, here to make, here in the U.S. for the 2DS. I don't know where it com when it comes out elsewhere, but, yeah, 10 bucks, not too bad, might get it. I also got Pokemon Ultra Moon, the newest game for 2DS that's in the Pokemon series, and also the last one for the 3, 3DS and all that, but it literally just came out, so I didn't even start it yet, and I also got the guide to it in the Pokedex guide, which I got with my Barnes & Noble gift card from Christmas. Uh, I have my own money, but I didn't want to spend it, so I used my Barnes & Noble gift card. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and the last game I got for a physical copy, which is actually in the new 2DS XL, is this one that I got with my birthday money. Yeah, it's only for the new 2DS XL because it has the C-Stick and you need it for this game. And the processing power, I think it said on the back that you need it for. So yeah, it's Minecraft 3DS edition. Um, new Nintendo 3DS edition. Yeah, it gets confused when I have to say new, new. <laughs> but yeah, uh, create, explore, survive. You can do survival or creative mode and 10 and up, yeah. 
And it includes some, some uh, content packs, seven of them, and you can't buy any more than that, I think. For It only plays in 2D. Yeah. Um, so if you have your 3D, if you have a 3DS, not a 2DS XL, um, when you try your 3D, it just doesn't do anything. That's all. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, really cool, because I had Minecraft, I have, I have Minecraft for the Xbox One. And I also, have, I also have it for the PS3, also. But my PS3 is not working too well right now. Yeah. Xbox One, I play sometimes, but I'd rather play on handheld, so that's kind of nice I got this. Because for handheld versions, they only have it for the Switch, which I don't have a Switch. Or PS Vita, I don't have a PS Vita. And they have it for, now, they re recently just came out with it for this. So I'm like, yes, finally. So that was cool, that was cool. I didn't even think they were going to come out with it for, for ever for the... 3DS line, so they waited until that you got a C stick to do it. So yeah, so that's really cool, guys. Really, really cool. That so um that is all the Nintendo 3DS games that I own. Um oh sorry guys, no one isn't. Sorry, I got two more games here. I got Pokemon Y and Pokemon Sun, and then now I got Ultra Moon. Cause I went with Ultra Moon rather than Ultra Sun because I wanted to try a different one. Yeah, so that is all, guys. Um. This video is probably about to end, so subscribe if you are new, but don't leave this video yet because I'm going to show you my DS games until this video ends. Alright, ready, set, go! When this ends, at least you'll see some of them. Alright guys, so the first DS game I got is Pokemon Black. I got this for Christmas this year for my dad because I actually won an older game for in 2018, 2017, well, during Christmas. So yeah, 2017 I won an old game. But I got it brand new sealed, so that's cool. Because I always wanted to play it. I got Zelda Phantom Hourglass. That was an early Christmas gift. Uh, that was really nice of him. Uh, I got Super Mario DS. Bought myself recently. Super Mario 64 DS, sorry. Which is good. I have. I also got a 64 for Christmas from someone. And, yeah, I got Mario 64 for it, so it's kind of cool. I got the handheld one, too, now. Uh, Chibi Robo Park Patrol. Cool game. Really weird, but cool. Uh, Tamagotchi Connection Corner Shop 3. If you know me, I love Tamagotchis. I got two of them, the newer 20th anniversary ones that came out this year. And I'll show you right now. This is my favorite one, my orange one. He needs to evolve soon so I can see which one I get him in. Get him to be. Oop, let me feed him. Yay. All right, guys. <laughs> oh, and I also have Imagine Babies. Only 99 cents. Still has the price tag. Yeah, that was used. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know why I got it. Probably just because it was 99 cents. I don't know. <laughs> um, Alright, the next games, guys. We'll hurry this up. Nicktoons Battle for Vol Volcano Island. Actually a pretty good game. Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots. Used to have this for Game Boy Advance when I was a kid. Which I don't have a, that Game Boy Advance anymore or the game. So yeah, oh no, the game I gave to my niece when she got a, had a DS Lite because it plays them. But my SP, I sold a long time ago when I was littler. Yeah, I should have kept that, but eh. Oh uh, yeah, deal or no deal.